Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to the realm and today I'm going to be building a new shop in the shopping center and it's going to be for slime. What this is going to be, I built this in the last episode if you wanted to go check that out. I'll put a link in the description or something. If not, just go to my channel. Check it out. Also, drop a like rating right now. Subscribe to the channel because today we got to do a lot of stuff. We're going to be getting a lot of diamonds soon. And I've had this slime farm running for like a couple days and the beauty of it is that it's right underneath the shopping area. So there's so many people all the time just powering this and yeah, we, we've, we've, gotten, we've gotten a fair bit. I haven't even conditioned the caves properly. So I'm going to put these all onto my shock box. And what I plan to do is build like a shop and I'm not really sure what I should do for the design. Um, I've been thinking possibly doing a um like a like an actual slime using slime blocks and um stained glass but of course that's all up for speculation still but i am just really proud of what we built and it is looking amazing it is also creating amazing amounts of slime balls as you can see and i haven't even conditioned the caves i really need to do that i need to go into the caves with some torches and stop those zombies from spawning. So I also put in a new entrance to the industrial area because I was sick of going through that maze. So now we just go out like that. And here we are, guys. The shopping area. Anyway, so that is the shopping district. We have got a fair number of shops since the last time I built the gunpowder shop. And we've got an iron, iron farm now, and that means an iron shop. Just a heap of cool stuff. But the place where I'm thinking about building this um, slime shop, you can see I've cleared away the grass here. And it's right here. We're, what we're doing right now is bu we're building shops in a really chunk orientated manner. And that basically allows us to really organize the shopping area. And we're also doing um, payments, like taxes, for people when they make a shop. So like they have to pay like four diamonds to own a chunk. And what we're going to do with that, those diamonds is make like a treasure hunt or some um, sort of events laid down the road with prize pools. But anyway, that's enough of that. We need to get designing this slime shop. And why are so many creepers blowing up? What? Okay, so after a little while, I came up with this like slime, like pixel art, 3D pixel art idea. I'm not really sure. I might have to do something to add a little bit more texture in, but I've added a face, sort of, and initially I had a hipster door, I thought, but until I realized that you really need to just have a lever for that. So I might just put a simple two by two piston door here. Let's get rid of those plush plates. And so that'll basically mean that we can just enter and come and go as we please. And it'll really like add like a slime effect and isolate my entire inventory, nice. So what I was thinking is we have like a couple chests here. One will be for, of course, slime blocks, one for slime balls. I'm not too sure about what else we could have. Um, yeah, it's going to be quite a simple shop today, but it's going to look quite cool. And hopefully we get some purchases. We're not going to get too many because we don't have that many people that make things with slime. But it's just going to be a nice addition to our shopping area. Anyway, let's get on to the build. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm just finalizing that we are, in fact... That this is the chunk. Okay, so we got the chunk marked out. Let's get rid of those. Uh, there we go. Minecraft your commands need to get a little bit better, and we need to get keybinds that actually work instead of having to press F3 and G at the same time. Right now, I've just realised I don't. Th are we going to have enough slime balls if we make a sh uh, quick um slime is under this? I thought it was literally a slime block. Okay, so after a little bit of crafting, I don't know why I have that piece of carpet. After a little bit of crafting, we have almost four stacks of slime blocks. I think that'll be enough because we have to make it 12 by 12. Let's see, let's actually do some maths here. We did not have enough. <laughs> but of course, we're going to use some stained glass. So that might, bring it, that might bring it down just a little bit. Let's go get some stained glass. Okay, so what I'm definitely thinking is we build it so that the concrete is at the same level as what this grass was. That should make it so that it fits right into the build. Yep. And then what we can do is place carpet all around it and make... I'm thinking maybe... Oh, I could do some cool things with it, but I'm really not sure because I'm going to have to make a community chest so everyone can pay for their shops. 
Because we haven't actually done that. We've made a rule that you have to pay for your um, a shot per chunk. But we haven't actually acted upon it. So we may need to do that. Are you serious? We've already used up our concrete supply. We've still got like probably another stack left to do. Yeah, probably another stack left to do. Okay, so uh, yeah, we went and fought the wither. I didn't actually, I wasn't actually fighting it at the start, and so the two that were fighting it, they both died. I had to go and help, and then I died. So yeah, we didn't lose anything except for I think our leggings, but that's easily replaceable. Um, but hey, we we got it. We got we got it. We got a uh, with a uh, nether star. Uh, not sure if it was worth it. I think it was, but we still have all our materials. Still have uh, shulker boxes, but otherwise I think we're all a G. Anyway, I need to buy some golden carrots because I think I also lost those. Okay, let's crack on with the slime shop without our leggings and... Oh, we had a perfect amount of concrete. Wow. I don't know, where should the entrance come from? I'm thinking maybe probably over from this way. I think we'll have the entrance. Then that way we can have like a street that comes down from there and then turns in. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Okay, so right there will be the entrance. So I was going to have a hipster door for the entrance, but then I realized that no, that will not work. So what I'm thinking is we do is we mix in a little bit of um, glass like this. We'll probably mix in a little bit more, but this should just be enough to get us started. Okay, yeah, so that's looking pretty decent now. Definitely building up the outside. So the outside is basically a really transparent layer. And then the eyes and the mouth tend to be a little bit less transparent, I think. And it's already standing out. It's, it's going to be quite a fluorescent shop, especially in the middle of this plane. We need to have it 12 blocks high, so I might just pillar up real quick. There we go. That's looking quite good, I think. Actually, what we might do is we may pay a visit back to the industrial area where there is scaffold. That is probably going to be a lot better for us if we don't die. Going to be a lot. Okay, so if we build them up each corner so that we have it the same height okay so there we go we have a feeling of how tall it should be and how big it is going to be yeah so that's that that first wall was looking quite nice i must say so we are running out of slime blocks we may have to continue us continue this tomorrow after another night afk that wish just kill itself <laughs> i think the wish just poisoned itself it poisoned itself trying to get me with the poison <laughs> Okay, so we're out of slime blocks. We are not out of glass yet. So what we're going to have to do is wait for tomorrow after another night's AFKing. And hopefully we have the stuff by then. So after after doing a little bit more AFKing, we've gotten enough slime balls, I think, to last us through. Here we are. we got our slime shop and it's looking actually very decent. I actually didn't take much of a look of it yesterday. But I can tell now that it is going to be very cool. Okay, so what we need to do first is probably finish the walls off and then we'll be chilling. Okay, so all the walls are done now and I think that's looking, it's a bit patchy there, but that otherwise looks really good. It's starting to look like a slime. But then of course we need to add in some green concrete to add that darker effect on the next layer. But otherwise it's looking very good right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and fill in all of the wall, um, the roof. We could just add in a couple bits of glass in a couple areas. Yeah, so what we need to do now, I think, we'll take a look at it. But I think this is going to look so good at the end. That is already looking good. We need to get the eyes in, of course. I'm not really sure what to do. Yeah, and I think we make it like three here, and then we make it one here. Because you look at the slime, and that eye actually goes around the corner. Yeah, I just want the eyes and everything to be defined a little bit more as well. That slime's actually looking pretty realistic, and you can also see that it, it goes onto the side as well to carpet a few areas, but I might just sprinkle a little bit on just to add a little bit more texture. Okay, so next up, we got a... Oh, that looks, that looks really cool. I think we can do a little bit of color, I mean, um, brightness at the top. Yeah, we'll make like a really simple... I think we've got it working. Yes. Okay, I think that looks good. Automatically opening doors. It's perfect. Except now we need to stock the shop, so let's just whiz over to that. I'm not sure what price we should sell them for, but I think 32 per diamond should be okay. Uh, what I will do, though, is just make it so there's 48 in there, just in case someone actually does want to buy the slime balls. And we'll just keep the stonks back here and everything that is spare for us. Okay, so I would say that was a fairly good episode. Um, we didn't do much, but we definitely did make a shop in the new shopping area. As you can see, the shopping area is definitely coming along a little bit more every day. 
I don't know why we keep having like a long street. We really need to just split it up a little bit. Like I've been trying to expand across the plane a little bit. But the other problem that we've been having is mobs. And that is something that I will have to work on and make sure that these mobs don't spawn because we get, keep getting creeper holes everywhere in our shops, in the road especially. I mean the slime hopefully does not suffer the same consequences. It looks really bad from the inside. I just realized that. 